post stitch mania i can't believe that the original event as it was first done is now over because it is the 16th of may i know many of you are still right smack dab in the middle of your mania and so i wish you guys the best of luck continuing and i congratulate the people who are done and uh, for those of you that, you know, Mania wasn't quite for you, I congratulate you for giving it a shot. And for those of you that have decided to remain on the sidelines, I congratulate for you for being supportive uh, fellow stitchers. So I'm congratulating everybody and wishing everybody happy stitching, of course. Um, I am here today, of course, to give you the results of my Stitch Mania progress. I have all my projects stacked over here in a pile. And I figure this should be a quick video, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so, if you are not aware, uh, it's been kind of going around Floss Tube, but there was an event created two years ago in May of 2015 called Stitch Mania. It was created by Garrett Coffee Stitcher and another Stitcher who no longer is in the Floss Tube community. And uh, it was originally a new start. For the first 15 days in May. So mania as in we're all a little manic for participating in this and mania as in the month of May. So I did participate that first stitch mania and I did start 15 new projects in the first 15 days of May that year. That was my first year of kind of being a hardcore stitcher and my first year of vlogging on floss tube and I was nervous to get started, but I jumped in with encouragement from Garrett, and this is now my third year participating. Now, the way that I participate in Stitch Mania, I do not start 15 new starts every year. Uh, last year, what I decided to do is I decided to look back at the year before at each start I made. If I finished the piece that I started on that same day, then I got to make a new start. If I did not finish the piece on that day, then I needed to work on that width. So this way I'm kind of encouraging myself to get progress made on these whips and I'm not feeling overwhelmed with 15 new projects every year. So that's what I did this year and you'll see what I mean as I go through my whips. So let's do it. <laughs> The first whip that I worked on on May 1st this year was a whip. Um, it is a piece I started last year during Stitch Mania, and that is the Ingleside Imaginarium Raptorous Love. It is two feathered raptors here with their hearts kind of forming a heart. I mean, excuse me, their tails forming a heart. And of course, the very punny title is Raptorous Love instead of Rapturous Love. And I will show you the progress that I made on this piece. So last year, and uh, if you watched my previous video, you'll have seen where I was before May 1st, but after May 1st, this is where I am at. So the first year I only stitched, I believe, about to here. And then uh, for Jesse Marie Sal, I added I think two or three new segments to the tail here, those stripes. And then this year I finished up the tail and uh, and uh, started in on the body here on this raptor. And that's the progress that I made on May 1st this year. Pretty pleased with that, definitely. So that was the first project that I worked on for my Stitch Mania. On May 2nd, I worked on my Epic Generation 1 Pokemon Cross Stitch. It is um, a free pattern that you can get on spritestitch.com. It was created by Servatron. And uh, this is a, pa uh, yes, a pattern, a project that I started on May 2nd of 2015. And, uh, that first year, I think I either started stitching Bulbasaur or was able to get Bulbasaur finished. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm scatterbrained. What I meant was I'm going to show you a picture of what it looks like when it's finished. Here. <laughs> and this is the project. Uh, the first year I stitched this little guy, 
And this year I did not get terribly much done, but I, um, before Stitch Mania, had finished this guy up, and so this year I did those black stitches that you can see of the next one. The next Pokemon is going to be Blastoise, who is a giant water cannon turtle. <laughs> um, so, uh, yes, my Pokemon. May 3rd, I stitched on a piece that I started on May 3rd of 2015, and uh, this is a piece from this booklet called Barnyard Quilts. It's this one right here, it's called Ducks and Quilts. Now this is a special piece for those of you who have not watched my videos before. This is a special piece because I found it in the craft area of my parents' house, and it had a receipt from like 19... 85 or something just before I was born and it was a there was a piece of fabric there that had a start uh, it had been started stitched so I found out by talking with my mom that she was probably the one who had started stitching it because it was from an LNS in her hometown and um, I thought it would be really cool to take it and uh, finish it so that I have a project that my mom and I both worked on um, so this is where the piece is. For Stitch Mania last year, I can't, or the first year, I can't remember what I got, but last year I think I finished up the ducks down here, maybe. I don't remember. But um, before this year's Stitch Mania, I had the pole done, the quilt done, this duck, and the ducklings finished. So this year I worked on these two new ducks, and I did not finish them. As you can see, they are partial ducks. Two almost ducks. Oh, by the way, this is a, an adorable little chick needle minder that I got from Julia Nifty Needle Annie's. He's so cute and chubby. Perfect for this whip, I think. So, this was May 3rd. God, I mean, that's decent progress. Um, I work most days 9 o'clock to 5.30, and then I get home, then I have to figure out dinner, and then I have to maintain some other businessy things and work on some other commissions and things and so I didn't quite most of these days get to stitch as much as I wanted to but um, made decent progress almost every day uh, so yes May 4th May the 4th um, I worked on another whip this one I started uh, Stitch Mania last year on May 4th as part of Stitch Mania, the groups, May the 4th be with you, Sal. Um, it is one of the Star Wars Sugar Skulls by Stitch Line. It is C-3PO. Here's a picture of the design. And I have some bad news about this one. Um, I'll show you what I stitched. This is where I'm at so far. And where I was before I started this year, I think I was down here. And uh, no, I was right over here. I was starting this swirl. Um, the bad news is I found out that the reason I was thinking about that section is this swirl, these little shapes here, and about down to here, I have to frog out. So, um, because there's a line that's supposed to go over his eyes and down and over his other eye, and right now there's it's too low, so I don't think it's going to fit. Um, so I do have to frog that, which is frustrating. This was the first project that the frog visited me on. Well, actually, I didn't do any frogging on this piece because as soon as I realized that, I was kind of disheartened and I thought, I'm not going to do this. Um, so there is where C-3PO is right now, sadly. Next time you see him, he may look like I have less progress done on him, but it, it's all fine. I was talking to somebody, and it's that feeling of heartbreak when you realize that you have um, made a mistake like that, and you have to frog a good portion, but, you know, then you kind of buckle down, and you do it, and you fix it, and then it's not going to bother you. Um, by the way, this fabric is a 32 count in dusk from Picture This Plus. I intend to, on either side of him, do the other two sugar skulls. 
And also, this is my Mew Needle Minder from Juliet Nifty Needle Nannies. The reason I picked this for this piece is because there is a level of a video game called Pokemon Snap where you find this Pokemon and it is in space. And I thought Star Wars is in space. Mew kind of lives in space. So I'm going to pick that. <laughs> And then next is May the 5th. May the 5th is another whip. It was a project that I started two years ago in Stitch Mania. So May the 5th, 2015. It is the uh, Dimensions Gold Collection Petite Napping Kitten. And this is where I'm at. So this year, for Stitch Mania, on May 5th, I was able to do this lighter color in this little paw area. So I had all of this darker color, I had the lighter color in the face done, and so I added the lighter color here. And then this is a really cute uh, kind of wooden uh, cat with a toothache needle minder that I got from Juliet Nifty Needle Nanny. I love these. I think they're so cute. That kind of vintage-looking cat illustration. Um, but yes, so here is Napping Kitten. Just a little bit of progress. Just a little bit every day. <laughs> uh, May the 6th is another Dimensions kit with another kitten. Uh, it is the Dimensions kit called Warm and Fuzzy Kitten. And if you'll remember, I mentioned that the frog came to visit, and this project was a big one. Um, so I had stitched all of the first color before this year, and then when it came time to do this project, I was like, great, I'm going to start a new color, and I got a, a significant portion of the color done, and then I realized that the whole head of the kitten was off by one stitch to the side. So I thought about trying to fudge it and because that whole section was off and it wasn't just an extra stitch hanging off a chunk, I was going to have to create a whole new column in the side of the kitten's face and in its shoulder and I thought, this is the project I was talking about. Uh, I better just get rid of it. So um, this is a piece in which there is less progress than when I showed it off in my Mania Plans video. Um, so before I had, this is all the first color and before I had the cat's head stitched here too, but I took it out. Yep. Very sad. Very frustrating. Um, ironically, this needle minder is a cat with a joker hat on, a jester's hat on, and uh, he may have been laughing, but I was not laughing. <laughs> Definitely not. So that was May the 6th. That is done on Black Ada. It came with the kit. This next one is exciting. No frogging on this one. This is uh, a new start. So this was May 7th of this year. I was able to start something new and it is my Ingleside Imaginarium Spring Dragon Pattern. This is what she'll look like when she's done. And I cheated a little bit on this one because I worked on this a little bit more than just the one day. Uh, but I can definitely show you what I finished that first day. So I finished all of this on the day that I started this, May 7th. And that was a Sunday, a weekend day, so that's why I got this good chunk done. And so I've added just a little bit since then, because I, I couldn't put it down. I wanted to work on it a little more. Um, so this is one of my own patterns. It's the first in a series of seasonal dragons I plan on releasing. Spring Dragon is for sale in my Etsy store. And then uh, Summer Dragon is almost finished being designed, and so he will be for sale in June. Um, but this is a fabric that I had as a contender for my Dragon Cell fabric. It is a 28 count Lugana from Picture This Plus in the jade color. And uh, I thought the pinks and the whites would look really nice and, you know, very springy. I always think of the color green for spring, of course, because 
everything is popping up and uh, you know she has those horns with all the blossoms on it and I think that'll look really nice on this fabric and there's my little toothless needle minder thought he would be perfect for a dragon piece um, and I got him from Gina at Gina's unique boutique so cute but yeah here is spring dragon I'm excited to get back to work on this one again it's turning out really nice <laughs> so the next day may 8th was another new start so exciting this is another one that i can't wait to get back to and another one that i cheated on uh the original progress was in a very light color and very minimal because it was a busy day for me and um so to make it look more exciting i stitched on it another day uh, but this is from this book cats of the world and cross stitch it's put together by jane netley mayhew and nikki wheeler so there are all these really wonderful, like, majestic cat patterns, wild cats and domestic cats, um, by Jane Netley Mayhew. And the one I'm working on is part of a seasonal series, and I'm doing Summer, which is this exotic short hair with a uh, honeysuckle. So pretty. Um, Jane Netley Mayhew has a Facebook group for people who stitch her designs, and someone just posted one of the other cats. It was the Russian Blue, and the eyes were so stunning. Just very um, piercing and, and, yeah, just really nice. And so I'm really excited to get more work done on this one. Um, it is done on this fabric. This is a 32-count linen in Pompous by Picture This Plus. And this is where I'm at. So you can hardly see the start. And uh, when I, on the day of, the only stitches I got done were this lighter color. So can you imagine if I had held that up, you wouldn't be able to even see it. And this is another one of my vintage cat needle minders from Juliet Nikki Needle Minders. Um, so where this is, and I'll pull this picture back up so you can kind of see what it is. So here is the picture. Here is my whip. If you see that, sorry, you see that kind of rounded shape on the right? Well, it's my right, it might be your left. Um, that's right under the cat's eye. So the cat's eye is going to be right here, which is very exciting. You normally don't get to stitch the eyes until the end sometimes. So I was kind of exciting. Very, very excited to get back to work on this one. I picked the summer piece because I have seasonal pieces to work on. I have the uh, In the Meadow, which you'll see later for winter. I have my spring dragon for spring. I have my Halloween carousel horse for fall. And I thought it'd be good to get a summer piece in too. So I have a summer piece that I can rotate in. Okay, so that was May 8th. May 9th, I pulled out another whip. It is a kit by Design Works called Be Joyful. And you can see here it's a bluebird or a robin perched on a flowering branch. And it says Be Joyful. Lots of backstitching to go on this one. I'm not close to even starting that, but <laughs> um, here is where I am at. This one I started in Stitchmania 2015, so it's a two-year-old whip. I don't have much progress for, you know, considering it's been around for two years, but for Mania this year, I did the yellow stitches down here in this flower. It's neat to see them grow, you know. This is a wooden, kind of same as those vintage cat ones. This is a moth that I got from Julie, too, at Nifty Needle Nannies. I like these a lot because they're sturdy, they're flat, so they hold the needle pretty well, and uh, they're lightweight with that kind of balsa woody uh, feel that it's, it's very lightweight, but you don't feel like they're gonna break either. So I really like these uh, But yeah, that was May 9th be joyful And uh, I just realized While I was thinking about these pieces and going over these pieces today how many whips I have with birds in them I might have to do a, an actual count and tally to see how many birds I have because I have my ducks, I have this robin, I have a quail, I have a new start that I started for Stitch Mania, and my raptors are kind of like birds. There's 
probably as many birds as there are cats <laughs> and dragons. It might be a toss up between all those creatures. Um, so May 10th was another Ingleside Imaginarium pattern. This was a whip that I started last year for Stitch Mania on May 10th and it is, uh, give me some sugar. So it's a sugar bowl here. Very sweet, simple pattern. Get it sweet. Um, and this is where I'm at on it. Um, before Stitch Mania, I had the outline of this sugar bowl done and I had the outline of the spoon done. So this year I filled in the spoon and I filled in, um, well, I had the white stitch, but I filled in the pink in here and in the little knob on top. So I have a lid in the spoon. This needle minder is the pony Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. She's a baker and uh, obsessed with sugar and very hyperactive. And I thought she would be really sweet. To... I did it again. She would be very sweet to put on this project. So uh, that's a pin that I got when I went to BronyCon last year um, and turned into a needle minder. So this project is going to stitch up really cute once I just sit down and do it, I think it would go fast. I just, there's more interesting things to stitch on, I guess. So that is May 10th. Next is May 11th. Yes, May 11th. This is another Dimensions kit. <laughs> surprise, surprise. It is a cat. Well, it's two cats. This is Ebony and Ivory by Dimensions. I really like this pattern. I saw it and it was at a great price at a Joanne or AC Moore and I bought it. It was $10. Can't complain about that. Um, this is another piece that the frog paid me a visit, but it was minor enough that I was able to frog what was causing the problem and um, was able to get some progress done on it anyway. So this is where I'm at after Mania this year. Before Mania, you would have seen um, about the same amount of progress. What I had done was I made a mistake where I started the back of the cat down here instead. So the back came down here and I, you know, that's a good, you know, that's a good chunk. So it was over here and I was getting towards the end and I was like, they didn't give me enough fabric to do this design. I'm going to be stitching right up to the end. And so then I kind of thought, this is not right. It doesn't look right. And then I figured out I had made a mistake. So I had to frog that. And then I, um, luckily it was only half stitches. And then I got, I read, re I made up my progress and uh, got a little more done. So, um, that is the white cat's back and the leg is going to come down here where it He's kind of sitting behind the black cat, and the black cat's supposed to be there. And this is my Meowth Needle Minder from Juliet Nifty Needle Nannies. So cute. This is one of my favorite Pokemon because it's a cat, of course. And um, I thought it kind of looked like the white cat in the picture. Another really pretty project. I have so many pretty projects. <laughs> May 11th was another new start. Um, this new start is not a new project because I've stitched this before actually. It is um, called Love is the Key. It's by Scissor Tail Designs. I stitched this during Stitch Mania before as a wedding gift for some friends of mine. I turned it into a wall hanging and sent it in the mail and it got lost. They never received it. So I promised them I would make them a new one and um, I'm finally getting around to it two years later. So um, I'm doing the same way I did before with the Week Sky Work Garnet thread and um, I did it on this uh, natural count even weave, or natural color even weave. Um, and it's on the same project, or fabric, I almost said paper, which is not right either. It's on the same fabric as my dinosaurs my raptors and this is where I got so not terribly far I kind of wanted to get that border done but it was getting late and I thought it's not worth it to be tired in the morning so this one is all this one I remember the first time was a quick stitch and so I'm hoping it will be a quick stitch again this time and now I live in the same city as the couple so I will be able to hand deliver it and make sure it gets to them 
which would be nice. I owe them a baby quilt too. The baby is here and she has been here for two months now. And I haven't started. I have the fabric and I have the design, but I haven't started it. So maybe I'll try and get this done. I'll try and get the baby's quilt done and then I can take it over and baby and parents will have a present. Um, so that was May 11th, May 12th. No, that was May 12th. Because, I'm sorry. Ugh. Yeah, Ebony and Ivory was May 11th. That was May 12th. May 13th is my winter piece. It is In the Meadow by Country Cottage Needleworks. A really, really cute little piece. And last year I had done uh, the word snowman and the word can and the letters B-U-I-L and now I have more letters. I have in the meadow we can build a snowman. Hooray! And I have three snowflakes. So cute. I'm excited to pull this one out and get some more progress done on it. I think I did my calculations right. I should have enough. Yeah, I have enough fabric. This is the called for fabric. It's a 30 count by weeks dye work in Scuppernog. Scuppernog, excuse me. Um, and this is a needle minder. Here's a little Christmas light I got from Juliet with the needle minder. That's another one. I think if I just took the time to stitch on it, it would really stitch it pretty fast. Um, May 14th, we're getting towards the end, is another bird pattern. And uh, it is another in the same series as the Be Joyful, and it is Have Faith. It's a quail instead of a robin, and it says Have Faith on it. And... Here is where I am at. I started this one two years ago in Stitch Mania, and this is how far I've gotten in two years. Um, I, this year, did all of this blue right here. So as far as the bird goes, I only have a little bit left for his head, and then the bird will be finished, which will be a, a nice uh, mini finish, you know, how those always feel nice. And this is another of the uh, wooden needle minders that Julie has. It's a butterfly. I'm pretty sure it's a butterfly. Um, versus a moth. <laughs> and yeah. So that was May 14th. And then here comes the last day of mania. Hold on. It will be coming in a moment. <laughs> Alright, so the last day of Mania was a new start. A good way to finish up Mania, I think. And this is a pattern that I just bought recently. I saw them and I couldn't resist and I really wanted to see how they would stitch up. Um, Pinky the Pink designed these based off of an artist's work that she found. And uh, she's the one who does all of the... Hannah Alexander Art Nouveau princesses, Disney princesses. So um, I followed her. So when she released this new pattern, I was like, oh, I kind of want to stitch those. And they are a series of owl familiars. So four different kinds of owls and um, they kind of have symbols and, and it's, they're very pretty. Um, they're very small. I think I'm stitching them on 28 count and they're all going to be about six by six, seven by seven inches, any kind of combination of that. So, um, she has it, uh, measured out on 18 count in the pattern and they're very small on 18 count, 36 count. They're about, you know, four by four, five by five. So, um, I will show you what, uh, so there's four, sorry, there's four of them, and I ended up going with the barn owl, which looks like this. Uh, 
And uh, originally I told you I was going to substitute some variegated flosses in and I decided not to. I'm just going to do it as she suggests with blended threads instead. Um, I came the day of and I was like, I don't want to think that hard about it and I don't want to make decisions. So I decided to um, just stick to the original threads. So this is the piece of fabric I'm stitching. I think I'm going to try and stitch them all on it. I think I can get one here and one here one here and one here so I mean we'll see and we'll see if I decide to keep them all on one fabric or if I decide to cut them up and finish them in a certain way um, like flat folds or little pillows or something but um, here is where I started on my owl my barn owl that's the top of the wing there just two colors so far but I think they're all gonna look really nice on this fabric <laughs> which you're probably thinking Brittany, what is that fabric? It is a 28 count linen in murky by Picture This Plus that I got from Julie at Reflections Framing and Stitching. Julie McConnell, if you want to look up her floss too. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really interested to see how these go. And I'm kind of like the fact that they're so small. I kind of like that fact because I have so many large projects, it'll be nice have something that could potentially be finished pretty easily so um, and this is my little bat owl needle minder that I got from Juliet McConnell and look how sparkly he is so cutie um, but yes that is the last piece that I worked on this mania so that means that was the end <laughs> Um, and another mania, I always, I, I enjoy mania. I enjoy this time of year. I enjoy seeing other people's plans. I enjoy, um, seeing the progress that they make and you know, it's fun. Um, I was going to look up and maybe see, uh, what, how many whips that puts me at with my new starts. Let me see if it's an easy thing to tell, and if not, uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 the owl, 22 spring dragon, 23 the summer cat, 24 love is the key, I think that's all of them. Yeah, yes, it is. So I have 24 whips. That's not too bad. And I bet if I sat and stitched on some of these, I could get them finished if I was feeling bad about the amount of whips I have. But I don't think I am. I like the ones I have, and it's kind of fun pulling one out and, and feeling like you're stitching on a, on a familiar friend. Anyhow, that is my Stitch Mania results. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I don't have stash and I don't have progress otherwise, so uh, this is a short video. Exactly what it says, Stitch Mania results. <laughs> uh, as far as announcements go for anything else, as I mentioned, I'm about to release my Summer Dragon pattern. Um, the June Dragon will come out in the Birthstone Dragon Stitch Along on June 1st, and I should say June dragons because there will be two of them. It's the same design but with two color options for pearl and alexandrite. Keep an eye out for all of those and uh, you never know when another random pattern might pop up sometimes. So with that I will let everyone go and I'll get my mess cleaned up here and maybe still get some stitching in because I have to edit this video so maybe not. But yes. I'll stop rambling and let you go uh, watch some other people's Stitch Mania results. I appreciate all of you for watching and liking and subscribing, and I especially appreciate those of you who comment. I am trying my hardest to comment uh, back to everybody, but sometimes I get behind and I get a little overwhelmed with life. Um, but thank you for the kind thoughts and, and all the support. I'm leaving. <laughs> All right. Happy stitching, everybody. Until next time. Goodbye.